These are my tools for making great PS2 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Pride Phoenix Media. So we're going to do a really cool proof of concept video today with my PS2, FMCB, OPL, and um, playing games uh, showcasing USB. And we're going to be using what is called a nano router or a travel router. And this is a TP-Link model that I have here. So if you're not familiar with these, basically, um, here's the box. Basically, it's a travel router. It's a mini router. So if you're going to like a hotel or friend's house, your own existing home, for example, you can connect this to the network and have your own private network sharing files, your own um, private network for, for browsing the internet or whatever you want to do. So on the back here, there's different modes you can do. Basically, there's a router mode, there's a hotspot mode, there's a client mode, which we'll be using for the PS2 today, and then there's a range external mode. So if you wish to learn more about this kind of product, I have a link in the video description. But this thing is awesome. Um, basically my setup right now is I have a mesh Wi-Fi. It runs at 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz. So I have this connected to my main router, which is downstairs on the first floor through the AC uh, 5 gigahertz network. And then what, what I can do is put it into client mode, have this connect to the PS2 through Ethernet, and then I can plug in a, a, a thumb drive right here to share the PS2 games, or I can have the games stored on my PC and have it um, uh, uh, access with this TP link through the Ethernet to the PS2 through my main network is awesome. So I will have probably future tutorials on how to showcase those two different setups, but let's go ahead and get this started real quick. It's awesome. So what we're going to do is connect the USB and then I'm going to connect the Ethernet cord, which is already connected to the PS2. As you can see, there's no games in here. And then let's connect my um, power cord. And I already have the switch to client mode. And I have a power strip here, so let's go ahead and uh, turn it on. Turn on the TV. Turn on the PS2. And let's do this. So what we're gonna do is go to open PS2 loader. And if you set up the travel router correctly, this thing boots up quick. It boots up faster than a Raspberry Pi, which is also a good solution as well. But this, I'm amazed how quickly the router boots up, like less than 10 seconds. So I have some example games here on my USB thumb drive. So let's just do Ratchet and Clank, for example. Um, in the limited testing I've done, the gameplay is great. The music is great. The in-game videos is great. No lag whatsoever. So, um... This is a great nifty tool, gadget, if you will. You can use it for, it has a lot of you know, purposes, of course, if you're traveling, if you want to use it at home for extending your network, or in this case, a client method, client mode, and connect a dumb console like the PS2 to your home network and share files, access games. It's awesome. And if you're curious, this thing goes about, I think like 35 bucks or so, something like that on Amazon when I got it. And I have no regrets. Um, I went traveling recently. I used it at a hotel. It was great as a firewall to protect my laptop and my tablets and stuff like that at a hotel when I'm traveling or on vacation. So it's pretty cool from that standpoint as well. But if you want to repurpose it for gaming, it's a great solution. Highly recommend it if you're into that kind of thing. So what's great about this is these, this game loaded fast compared to um, like USB method only. So here I am in the game, walk around, do whatever, and that's it. So that's today's proof of concept video. I will most likely have more video tutorials on how to set up the TP-Link on your computer and set up you know, the USB share method, and then another tutorial probably on how to set up the SMB share from your PC to the TP-Link to your PS2. So. If you have any other nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.